Hello everyone, it's me Jason and I'm back with a tutorial for Parry, created by Loom's Passion, Loom Star of the Week. Okay, and this is my last feature design for this particular week for them as a special. So this is the beautiful Parry created by Loom's Passion, which is a very simple, very easy design to make. And think you're gonna enjoy it because it looks very beautiful. Okay, and then I made a version with the 8mm beads right there these are the blue crackle blue and coffee crackle glass loose beads from www.theringbeads.com okay you can order from them it's your beautiful beautiful beads these are the blue and coffee blues crackle grass beads which look so pretty with that and then i made yawn with even bigger beads these are the eight millimeter uh green and pink crackle glass loose beads which are so pretty okay i love them so beautiful okay and as if it could not get any bigger <laughs> i created another version with 10 millimeter beads see so big okay you can see my palm look at how big those are so these are super pretty and like what i love about this bracelet is that you are able to add the big big beads if you have big beads you can make it these are just gonna be heavy duty show heavy these are the very um heavy glass beads as well from the ringbeads.com all my beads are from the ring beads so if you want order just go to www.theringbeads.com and they will be very happy to assist you so thank you for that okay now we will be using this as an example for a version but i will also teach you without the beads but just so you can see it with the beads this is the one so we will be doing this and i'll be using my orange model glass loops beads from www.theringbeads.com these are the orange model glass loops loose beads model m-o-t-d-l-e okay so once again we are going to the parry by looms passion okay so let's get started the first thing that you will be doing is getting your first color which for me is going to be brown okay so this is brown let us just move the camera a bit i'm off camera hold on let me see where are you there you are there you is okay so get your first and then get your cap band and then get the first color and place the cap band on it pick up one of the cap bands and then put it back on the hook so now you have the first band and the cap band and then you get your first color which for me is going to be Burang, Burang, yes. And then you get the brown, the first two colors on your hook. Okay. And oh, no, wait, no, sorry, I don't want to use brown. Sorry, I want to use orange. This one. There. First two. Like that, and then reclaim the first band. Reclaim the first band, and then close. Sorry, I'm adjusting my view because I'm. Be using my iPad today my mobile memory went down so there then you repeat it on the other side remove the first band and reclaim the cap band and then place it back on the hook and then get another one of these orange bands and then loop the first two okay and reclaim the first band then close that's what you have okay there that's how it looks and then now i will use the middle band and here we just won't put the bead but if in case you notice it's the same i'm using the orange band so that's the first band here but without the bead so based on color pattern you will just re unloop the first five on that single band and then reclaim three four and one uh two three and one uh three three four and one yeah four three and one and then you close and then the first two you switch these two like that okay so now you have that okay now you will add the side bands which are these oops here these ones you will add these so i will be using my light orange okay and what you will do is you will remove the first band and place this here 
remove the first band and then let that single band fall under close repeat it on the other side okay place it there remove the first band and let it fall under Ta-da! So they're like earrings. They have earrings. Hello, hello. Yeah, I have earrings. <laughs> okay. And then you will go back to your looping of the bands. So I will get my first color, which is the brown. And I will unloop the first three. This is very easy. You just unloop the three and reclaim one and two. And then close. And then get your second color which is brown again and loop the first three again and then just reclaim number one Ta-da! okay and then now all you have to do is to simply twist this one you have to twist it the same way all the time okay so if you're twisting it this way or you're twisting it that way it has to be the same as the other side so that the faces are the same otherwise they will look different so I'm twisting it this way then I pull it on the hook, put, put it on the hook. This is actually supposed to go here. So which means that once you twist it and you will unloop, if you will loop later, you have this has to be the third band. So the arrangement is supposed to be really like that. Okay? But it keeps moving, so you will fix it later. And then you go to the other side. And you have to follow the same as this. So that is this way. Okay? So you twist it that way then like I said you place it on top of the first two on top of the first two like that so your arrangement should be oh wait sorry I haven't even placed my two brows yet. <laughs> I'm so stupid <laughs> sorry okay so we'll do the <laughs> what's going on with me okay so we'll do the brown first okay brown then the first three and then reclaim the first two and then the next brown and loop the first three and reclaim only the first one there now we already get to twist this <laughs> sorry so you twist this going up that way and then on top of the two just like that so now the arrangement is like that see two browns the orange four browns the orange and then two browns again so this is supposed to be there and then now you will put another center band under all of the six bands in the middle and I choose to place the same as this loop so it's gonna be this okay so I'll be placing this here and I'll be unlooping one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll be unlooping all of these. Is it nine? But did I count it wrong? <laughs> anyway, it's up to that. So you leave the last two bands there. And then when you reclaim, you make sure that this orange is on top of the two browns like that. Then you close it. And then you switch these two browns over. And you close. See? That's how it looks now. Okay, very pretty, very pretty. <laughs> okay, so now that you have these six again, this is the part where you actually add the bead. Okay, so if you don't want to add the bead, you just go straight into the single band. So if this is the beaded band, then that means this is going to be your second center band. Okay, so this is the first one, this one, and we already have one down here, which is the orange. So, since our beaded band has this band, this one, okay, we will use that as well. So, this is the one without the bead version. So, you just slip all of these six bands, okay. Oops, just five actually. <laughs> there. And then you will reclaim the two center bands. Wait. Am I making a mistake? <laughs> Let me just review, review, review. <laughs> Sorry, that was an error. I removed it again. 
because I was making another bracelet earlier and then I made a mistake. <laughs> so now I got confused between the two bracelets. Okay, so from here, we will actually add one band per side. Okay, so one band per side. So these are the two oranges that you see there. So we will add the orange first on the left side and then unloop the three bands and reclaim just the first one. There you go. And then repeat it on the other side. And loop. And loop the three. And reclaim only the first one. There you go. Ha. Okay. And this is the part where you place the beaded band. Okay. So, I think I'm correct. <laughs> okay, so anyway, this is the part where you place the unbeaded band. Okay, so instead of a beaded band, if you don't want to bead it, you now get your next center band. Okay. Basically, this is, I think, hmm, yeah, I, I would say this is the end of the segment. That's the complete set. Okay, so this is step one. You first add your beaded band or your center band. Okay which goes under these four, and then you will reclaim the two middle, okay? So you get your center band on there, and then loop the first five bands. Three, four, five. Three, four, and five. There you go. And then you will reclaim three and four, which are these two, four and three. And then the last one also. And then put everything back. And then you will switch the first two. Like that. Okay. So there it is. This is actually your beaded band if you want to bead it. So later on, I will show it to you with a bead. Just so that those who don't have beads can do it quickly. So there. And then now, you will start adding the first two uh, curly bands again. These two. Curlies. Okay. So you get that again. Remove the first band and let it fall under, just like that, and then close, okay, and then repeat it on the other side, get the curly curly boy, curly bands, and remove the first one and let it fall under, and then close, see, <coughs> excuse me. And then now you can go back to the beginning of the, well not beginning, but the next step. Okay, so the next step is adding the two side bands again, which now becomes yellow from the brown. I now go to yellow. And loop the first three and reclaim the first two. So unloop these three. And reclaim the first two. Oops, sorry. Three and then reclaim the first two. And then you close. And then you repeat the steps again and loop the first three for your second band and reclaim only band number one. Number one. See? And then now you go back to the other side. You begin the other side as well. You get the yellow. And loop the three and reclaim the first two. Loop those three and reclaim only the first two. Close. And then you will get the second one. And loop the three again. And reclaim just the first one. And then close. See? Ta-da! So you can see there's really an... Uh, if I keep moving... Sorry, I keep moving my hand because I'm adjusting to my iPad. I used to film with my camera like here on top. And now I'm filming with the camera in front. <laughs> so it's harder. So you might notice the change of view. So there. So now, you will twist these again following that. So if you look at this, it's twisted left over the right. So when you twist that, it will become like this. See? 
when you put it on. Oops. Left over right. See? So now they're the same. Has to be the same, okay? So you repeat that on the other side. Push it to the end. And then you will see it's the right over the left. So which is this way. The other way around. See? Now they're the same, okay? And now you will place your center band again under these. Okay? So all you have to do is to just move the curly bands inside, which becomes the third band right here. Okay? Don't forget that. And do the same for the other side. So these two bands go right where that space is. And now they're right there. <clears throat> okay? And now you put a center band under these six and you leave them down there. You don't reclaim anything. So your center band is... What's like center band? Oh, this. Okay, same as the curly bands. I get my curly band again. And I unloop all of the bands until you leave the last two. So you just unloop all of these like that. And then you will make sure that this curly band right here is on top of the two yellows like that and now you will reclaim the last two yellow the first two yellows and the center band you're holding and then you switch these two over like that there you go okay do you see okay very cute i'm very happy with this bracelet i really love it Okay, and then it's now time to add one band per side again, which are your oranges. Okay, so you go back to the orange and loop the first three and place the yellow, the first band, and then close. Okay, then you go back to the other side. Actually, this part. If you want, you can actually you can already add your um, curly bands because it's the same band as these ones. But anyway, I'll just go later because you might get confused. So you go to the other side and repeat the same step with the orange. And loop the first three and reclaim the first one. <coughs> okay. And then now you is uh, you you is to add <laughs> you will add your beaded band. So now I show you how with the bead how to do it with the beads. You place your bead on top of the middle two right there. And then, if you don't have an extra hook, what I do is I just push, place these three on top of this, like that. See. Well, actually, just two. Sorry, there two. Look at that. Can you see? I hope so. So just the two bands. On top of the two bands, and then you hold the first two, which is this one and that one. Okay, you hold this, these first two together. Then you unloop, like that. And then, make sure it's not twisted. You catch the other end of the band. And unloop these two as well. Now you have four bands on there. You will reclaim the two bands closest to the bead which is this one and this other one and then you put back the two you're holding so now all you have there are the orange bands all the yellow are under oops sorry ah, it's so hard i'm adjusting to my new setup okay forgive me okay so that's it you will now add your Hmm. Am I getting lost? <laughs> I'm getting lost! Okay. You'll add your brown bands again. You go back to the brown. Okay, hold on. Let me just double check if I'm doing this correctly. I put here. Yeah. So, every time you add your beaded band, 
or at least the band that is supposed to go to um to go so supposed to go on the on top of these four that's what i try to remember because it gets confusing when to add the curly bands so you just remember once you add the center band and you see these four it's time to add the curly bands to the side okay so you simply get your curly band and remove the first band and place it there and then close Ding. okay now if you want you don't need to slide to the other side yet because it you know so to less less effort you can already start adding the brown bands again because this is the brown yellow brown yellow right so you get your brown and loop the first three and reclaim the first two and then you get the next brown and loop the first three again <clears throat> and reclaim the first band just this one and then close see and then now you can twist this following that right over left twist it going up and then place it on the hook then you can already go to the other side and slide it see so less effort just a technique to make things easier to make life easier <laughs> okay so now we repeat the same steps here remove the first band and place your curly band let it fall under like that and then close sorry my my setup is really stressing me out because i don't know how to keep because i tend to i tend to really loop this way but then the camera is lying down i'm sorry i mean when the band's lying down on camera so i have to like do it this way for you to see so i'm really changing my orientation now anyway i will add the two browns again so you get the brown and loop the first three and reclaim the first two and then close and then get your second brown and loop the first three again and reclaim only the first one and close okay then now you twist this also following that which is this way there and then now you can put these on top of the two on the other side as well on top of the two browns and that's how it's supposed to be okay so you go there and then you get your next center band which is the curly curly collar again <laughs> i'm just trying to think of cool names <laughs> and then you unloop all those one two three four five six seven eight bands okay that's eight oops eight bands like that and then remember that this band is supposed to be on top of the two so now I'll never forget that like that okay and then now you will reclaim only the first two and then you switch these first two with the center band there you go ta-da okay ta-da she there so this is back to the beginning okay so the beginning again is you will add the orange bands the orange side bands again okay so first step so that you do not get confused okay first step you add two orange bands how do i show you here harder now because it's lying down <laughs> so two orange bands one per side you get this and then you undo the two and claim the first band and close followed by the curly band which is going to be here like that so you just get this band and then let this fall under like that and then repeat it on the other side get your orange bond 
and loop the three. Reclaim the first band. Close. And then get the curly band. Remove the first band and let it fall under. And then close. Ta-da! Okay. And then now, you will get the beaded band. Here's the beaded band. Okay. You place the beaded band under these first two again. Sorry, I'm covering it like this. Put those two on top. Like that. And then, you remove the first two. And then, you now unloop the next two. The other side. And then you will reclaim the two bands closest to the bead. So it's this one. And this one. And then you close. Ta-da! And then now we go and add the yellows. Two per side. So that's going to be two yellows. Or the browns. Depends on what your color is. Just two bands per side. So you get the first band and loop the first three. Reclaim the first two and close. The next yellow and loop the first three. Reclaim the first one and close. Okay, now. Before you go to the other side, you will twist this upwards. So this one goes that way and go put it there. Okay, and then you go and do it to the other side too. Get your first yellow and loop the first three and then reclaim the first two and close. Then you get the second yellow. Unloop the first three and reclaim only the first one. And close. And then now, you will twist this again. This one goes the same way as the one under it. So it's like that. And then now, you switch them. You slide this going to the third. Which is like this. And then the other one also goes there and then now you can add your next band which is under these six bands okay so you get your curly color again this one which goes here under the four then you unloop all of them eight bands there then this one again because it always switches don't be irritated by it but you just have to keep putting it back just keep putting it back like that and then you will reclaim the first two yellows and the one you're holding and then you switch the two yellows there Okay, and that's the whole segment. You now go back to putting the two oranges. You put the two oranges first. Oh, you know what? I just realized I did not show here. I have one missing band here. Two oranges and then the beaded band there. Okay. So... I hope you're getting it well. We will start again. So I hope you guys copied this. That's the pattern. So we will start with this so that you can see how I use it. I'll get the first one. So we start from step one. Then you unloop the three. And then you pick up the first band. Okay. And then I will add the curly band. This one actually is supposed to be here. There. <laughs> Sorry. So you get the curly band, put it on top of the one band, and then let it fall under, and then close. Then you repeat that on the other side. You get the orange band, and loop the first three, 
So claim the first one. And then get the curly band. Place it on the hook. Remove the first band and let it fall under. And then put it back. So that's what you have. Okay. And then now we go back to the beaded band. Place the beaded band here. And if you have an extra hook, you can also do it this way. Get the hook under the three. Catch that beaded band and pull it under the two. Then up. And then you just remove all of it. Catch the other side. And then unloop the two. And that's what you have. You will now reclaim the two closest to the hook. Which are this one. And this other one. And then put them all back. See? That's this one. And now we go back to adding the two side bands, which is yellow here, but it could also be the brown because I'm using brown here. So I will get my brown. And loop the first three. Reclaim the first two. Close. Get the next brown. And loop the first three. Reclaim the first one and close. It just feels complicated in the beginning, I promise you. When you once you get to do it, you'll be so in love with this. And then now we will twist up to the hook. Oops. <laughs> up to the hook. And then go to the other side. Ha, ah, I wish I can get more memory for my camera. I'm having trouble with it. Okay. And then you remove first three reclaim the first two and then close and then get the next one and loop the three reclaim the first one and close and then you twist this outwards like that okay and then now I will get my next center band which is same as the curly collar and I will unloop all of these eight bands there remembering that the curly band should be here as the third band so I sometimes I do this it really happens it's normal so you just pull it back get those first two out of the way And then reclaim the first two and then close really sorry guys i'm trying to make sure that i get to film this because unfortunately my digicam is not functioning well it just opened and then it's now it hung for some reason my digicam hung and then my iphone has no memory anymore <laughs> so i'm using my ipad so I hope you guys are getting this. I apologize, Rosie and Dora, just in case this is um, the view is not very easy. So please be patient, guys, because this is a beautiful bracelet. Okay. So anyway, I'm almost done. So that's how it is with those. So now you go back to adding the oranges again. So you get one orange per side. This is practically the ending. You just close it like that. And go to the other side. <coughs> Oh no, wait. No, I made a mistake. Sorry, sorry. Urgh! Like, I'm sorry, I'm just getting irritated with my camera. Sorry. Okay, so there you go. So, this is actually the part where you add another beaded band. Okay. Am I correct? Beaded band. So. anyway no sorry anyway so once you're done you actually finish with this after you add this curly okay all you have to do is to actually get a single band which is the same as the brown under here and then you loop all of these 
okay and then you just simply close it that's it this is much simpler than the others so you just loop a single band on top okay uh, I have such a messed up setup <laughs> sorry okay I really wish I had a better setup because this is one of the most beautiful bracelets I have ever filmed I hope you can see because I made five already including this one so once again this is the parry bracelet okay all four are here now the whole cast of the bracelets that I made <laughs> the parry by looms passion okay I used all my beads from the ringbeads.com and as you can see I've used eight millimeters eight, six millimeter no eight millimeter 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter bands beads okay and here are all of them get your beads from www.marinebeads.com and when you make um yeah and this is parry bracelet created by looms passion and when you make it please don't forget to hashtag jace alvarez parry bracelet and looms passion i'll see you in my next tutorial bye